I just got to Chicago and I'm waiting for my connecting flight to Rhode Island. Um, it was kind of scary to get here because it was super like, what's it called, um, shaky. So I'm on moves to Rhode Island. It's only like a two hour flight so it's not going to be too bad. And I'm super nervous since I'm doing this in front of people. But. Hey guys, so I'm finally in my hotel room. I look like shit, but um, I'll just show you guys around. Okay, so here's the entrance. That's my luggage. And then here's the bathroom. It's pretty cute. It's weird because it, oh, it does have a door. Okay, it does have a door. But look how freaking nice it is. I'm staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. And oh my God, this is a nice ass fucking shower. Oh my, hasta da ganas de bañarse. But I can't wait for tomorrow to meet Lord China. Okay, so here's the bathroom and look how nice the doors are. Okay, so when I made my reservation, oh shit, when I made my reservation, I called to see if they can give me a ground floor because I hate elevators. So this is the bed. That's pretty much it, a huge fucking TV. And then I don't know what's in here. Oh, a fridge. Oh, I thought they were gonna have like some cold waters. Oh, they. What the fuck? 250, bitch. Yeah, no. Do it this way. Okay, so it was a good flight. Um, I'm just super tired and I know I'm blind as fuck. But my flight was pretty good. I went from Oak. I don't know if I explained this, but I went from Oakland to Chicago and I had a layover for two hours. And then I am from Chicago to Rhode Island. That was only like two hours. So in total, I had a, I had a seven hour flight. And I should probably call my mom to let her know that I'm here. La Rosa de Guadalupe. So I just finished doing my hair and my lips. And I'm not changing until later on because I don't want to get any food on my clothes since I am wearing all black. And my makeup came out pretty good. I just wish my lashes were longer, which I'm kind of sad about, but I really don't want to take them off now. But, yeah. Um, my hair doesn't look that bad. I mean, I should, I should probably strain some parts. And it's kind of staticky, which... Make my makeup looks good. Let's see if I can take this off. I don't know, I just love my makeup. I wish my hair was like actually touched up, but I'm letting it grow out. And then, yep, I'm super excited. I might get a piercing because I'm like, I'm already in Rhode Island. I might as well do something fun. Because, like, when I went to get this one and this one. I got this one for eye mats and I got this one when I went to a makeup class. And like, I don't know any good tattoo artists out here. So I was like, maybe. I found this um, piercing place. So I was like, maybe like I should go get a piercing. I want to get the conch and it would be like right here. Cause on this ear, I already have my industrial bar and I have my date and I don't have cute piercings in right now earrings but i want to get a conch since it's so lonely on this side yeah but i'm kind of scared because i hurt like i don't want it to hurt <laughs> but yeah so i might get a piercing i don't know yet but i probably won't show you guys the class that i'm in just because i don't know if they want me recording or not and i will let you guys know how my experience is it is a two-day class so hopefully um i learn everything since i came all the way out here but yeah i can't wait to learn new stuff and meet new people and okay so i'm all ready i got my lip gloss on i want to do a gloss because my my chips my chips my lips look super chapped i'm gonna show you guys my outfit it's something super simple um i didn't really bring that much clothes with me to begin with but these are the only jeans that fit me and they fit me kind of loose they're mom jeans and then I wore my 
Fenty shoes and then a black crop top. Um, I didn't know what else to wear. So I think this will be fine. Just like a simple kind of look. So. Hey guys, so I'm finally back from the master class and I'm in the bathroom because this is the only place that I have good lighting. So the master class went pretty good. I um, first Lord China did a demo and then she let us do like practice on our model. And I'm gonna show you guys a picture. I wish I would have recorded, but I couldn't. But that's how it looked like. Yeah, it was super nice and I'm gonna post pictures later on but it went pretty good. I had never done a cut crease on anybody so I was pretty proud of myself. And what else? What else did I do? They gave me a goodie bag so I'm gonna show you guys what I got in it. I haven't seen what's in here either so I'm pretty excited. I wonder if I can put this thing down. No, oh, never mind. Okay, so this is what's in there. Okay, so first I got a OPV contour kit. I'm gonna open it up. Let me put this thing down. Okay, I'm gonna have to nail down. Okay, there you go. And Lord China was super nice. Like she was like very like hands on with us. So I'm pretty happy about that. I can't open this. Alrighty, so this kind of looks weird. Oh, it, yeah, I think, okay, so it's just a cream contour. I got a Molly O'Brien brush. M O A. I got, oh, Spectrum. She actually used these while we were in class. Well, such, whatever you want to call it. And I like how it's pink. So she used these in there. She also gave us a dog light duo. I've never heard of this brand. I bet it's all good, okay. Oh, it has highlighters. So, it doesn't seem the names on it, but they look very pigmented. It's like a subtle, oh no, it's not a subtle highlight. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, but that's really pretty. And then we got Lick and Lash Beauty Pigment. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm actually gonna go eat after this because I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything. It's like a, it's called tangerine, but that's a really pretty color. We also got Molly Lashes. Why is this thing not focusing? We also got Space Walker Lashes. Ooh, these are pretty. I'm gonna wear these. We also got a Sample Beauty uh, eyeshadow. Oh my, for a second I thought this was a Jeffree Star. We got a pearl lipstick in pink. I don't really like pink lipsticks on me, but. And we got Bella Pierre lip cream. God damn it. Okay, so that's a pretty color. So we got that. Ooh, okay, we got a Lake Cosmetics Margarita Shimmer Size 2. We got Gorgeous Loose Eyeshadow from Peaches and Cream. That looks pretty. It's like a pink shimmer to it. And last but not least, we got the Brow Jam Fiber Gel. Oh. 
So we got a fiber gel. And that is all we got. So I'm going to go eat right now because I'm starving. And then I might do a mukbang. I don't know yet. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I guess I'll be doing a mukbang. So I went to buy Chloe and I got their air fried fries, which are really good. I also got their mac and cheese. It smells really good. It smells like, I don't know, but it smells good. And then I've also got the avocado pesto, which I've tried before and it tastes really good. I feel like a weird, I eat really ugly on TV, um, camera. So I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna eat the avocado pesto first. So today was the first day of Lord China's class and it went really good. It lasted pretty much all day. We got off at 8. We were supposed to get off at 6, but uh, we were running a little bit late and stuff. But it went really good. My makeup came out really good, and I didn't think it was going to come out good. The mac and cheese. It kind of smells of an elote that I ate one time, and I, had, and I threw up. To be honest, I like this one better. Somebody just told me I saw you on their story. The story of Barbie and Beauty, Barbie Beauty Lounge. I'm so famous, you guys. You know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna finish all my food and then I'll come back because it's fucking annoying. Hey guys, so I finally got out of the master class and it was a long day. We did two different demos. One demo was with uh, Lord Chen and the other demo was with Lindsay, makeup by Lindsay. And it went pretty good. I learned a lot of things today and yesterday as well. But I haven't eaten all day. Like, all I ate was a granola bar in the morning because they didn't really give us a break. So, because we were running late or whatever, but I should have ate something in between. And I'm super excited because I'm going to Rockstar Piercing to get my conch pierced. I'm pretty excited. I think it'd be super cute. Like right there. Um, I'm kind of nervous, but it'll be okay it's kind of like a little memory that i came to rhode island and yeah so i just got back from the ta tattoo from the piercing studio and do you guys want to see my piercing i can't oh. <laughs> look how cute it is don't mind my sideburns but look how cute it is i can't wait for it to get healed but it's a pink morganite or some shit like that but it's super cute. I can't wait for it to get healed. And it didn't even hurt you guys. Like the guy was talking to me. And I was like okay I'm super nervous. And he was like oh like don't worry. Because before he started he was feeling around my ear. To see where the soft spot was. And that, I guess that's where he poked it through. Because I didn't feel shit. All I felt was the beginning of the needle. And then I, bre I, breathed, I breathed out. And I didn't feel anything. And then I only felt when he was trying to put on the piercing. But other than that it was a good experience so it's my little memory that i was in rhode island and i leave tomorrow um, but i feel like i'm so sorry i've been in the hotel the whole time that i wasn't even able to vlog when i was going out and plus there's no i came out of the freaking piercing tattoo place and no one was out like no one i was like oh shit i'm about to get murdered right now um no but it seemed like i was in a horror movie because there was no one outside and I was like, fuck, like, something's about to happen to me.
but that's just my paranoid ass but yeah that's pretty much it i'll take i'll talk to you guys tomorrow i might go to uh, ihop and yeah so i'll see you guys later but look how good that is so i'm about to check out of the hotel room and sadly i woke up super late where i didn't have time to go eat breakfast and then come back to get my luggage so now i have to go to eat breakfast at ihop with my fucking luggage so that'll be fun um yeah i'm really gonna miss it i wish i would have gone out and explored more but i only had time to be in the classes and that's pretty much it and that's the whole reason i came so that's okay with me oh my god <laughs> it's right there the big blue bug my life is made <laughs> thank so I'm finally at the airport. I'm in Providence, Rhode Island, and my flight was changed. So I'm going from Rhode Island to Chicago, Chicago to Denver, and then Denver to Ch no to Oakland. And I'm kind of irritated because I just wanted to get home, and I'm gonna get home at 11 instead of 9. And I wish they would have told me instead of just changing it. But hopefully I'm able to go home and it's not like canceled because. I think it's gonna uh, snow in Chicago and hope if anything if I were to stay in Chicago I can stay with my family but if something were to happen in Denver and like it's snowing or something like who the fuck am I gonna stay with so I'm kind of irritated so pretty much the Lord China class is how it went so it started on Saturday it started at 12 but the model was late so we started like around 12 30 almost 1 and then we ended like around nine. Yeah, around nine. Which we were only supposed to be there until six. But we ended up finishing at nine, so we left at nine. And then, so the first day she taught us one eye look. And since she was explaining everything, like it just went by super like fast. And that's when we didn't realize the time was, we didn't have that much time. And so she taught us how to do her cut crease, half cut, half cut crease, the first day, and that's all we did. And then we worked on our models, and then that was it. The second day, we did a demo with Lord China and makeup by Lindsay. And so first on Sunday, make uh, makeup by Lindsay started. She did two different looks on one person, so one I eat. Oh my god, there's a bird. <laughs> what the hell? Um, so she did two different eye looks and she taught us how she does her eye, um, her cut creases and stuff like that. And then um, Lord China was next and she's, she also taught us two different eye looks and she taught us how to do the half cut crease but with like a little wing and then her signature like petal kind of look. I don't know how to explain it. But that was really pretty. So once I get back home, I'm going to start um, practicing because I want to get really good at it. Um, what she, on how she taught us and the techniques that she taught us. So I should probably use the bathroom before going on the plane because I hate air, airplane bathrooms. I'm so claustrophobic. <clears throat> but yeah. And then before I left, my when I checked out, I saw Lord China and makeup by Lindsay so they just gave me a hug and we're like oh, like thank you so much and nos despedimos I don't know how to say that in English <laughs> so we did that and then I was telling them I wanted to go to the UK to take some classes by P. Louise and them again so I definitely want to do that by next year um, so I'm just gonna have to keep saving I'm just so tired I've been so jet lagged. I would sleep at three in the morning and I have to wake up at like seven to get ready for the class. Oh my God, I was falling asleep in class because I was so tired and it was just not fun. And then I saw the big blue bug, which I was super excited for because I love the movie Dumb and Dumber. And damn, so that is it for me. I'll talk to you guys once I get to Chicago and hopefully everything gets better.
Urban Decay? Kiel? This, and they have a spa too. So, oh look how cute this is you guys. This is the fanciest airport I've ever been to. Very historical. I didn't know they had tornadoes here, but there's like tornado shelters everywhere. 